Kaznamdi acknowledging where it all began. Skyline levels the new EP. Kaznamdi, part of the reggae new wave, his bridging the gap EP and encouraging debut three years ago, singles ever since, along with tireless self-promotion on the cottage and festival circuit, crossing genres to widen his appeal, a hard worker, and now dropping another compilation, Skyline Levels entering iTunes reggae chart at number three, among the songs a single featuring Chronix. I think every time I've dropped a song, I've always said, yeah man, this is the one, this is the one, this is the one, you know? But, um, so, in my little experience, I stopped having expectations with my music, because I always get let down. And expectations are not all as a man, I'm not trying to have expectations or nothing. But at the end of the day, we've been getting tremendous feedback from this, like, our DJs just take it up naturally and just playing it every day, pulling it up. DJ Wayne just stop playing the tune them. ZJ Chrome, Zip FM. So we've been definitely getting a lot more feedback than normal. I'm a survivor. If you have the heart of a lion, push up your light and blaze up the fire. More more try to use my story. You know what I mean? Because everybody can relate to your story as an individual, no matter where you come from. And what's your story? And my story is just a little you to have a dream. You know what I mean? And who is trying to conquer all these obstacles ahead of me, which everybody can relate to that. So I think that is what me try to do is just be real with myself. Not trying to put on and go on like me is no Bob Marley or go on like me come from the ghetto, me a uptown youth. In a Jamaica from your brown and have locks, them are gonna say Marley. But we, we, we love it said because Bob Marley our uncle. I don't have a big hit billboard song. You know what I mean? And but at the end of the day, I still have to give thanks because I've been very lucky along my way. You know, I've been, it's just three years and I've achieved so much. You know what I mean? Versus some people who are in this industry and don't even see the light of day till like 10, 15 years down the line. Just leave some steam trees for peace of mind. Jamaica is my home and it's not that Jamaica don't love my music. Jamaicans love my music. Victoria, sweet game up. for the champion. Really, none of my music really fits the format of like radio and what them play at the dance them and things. So it's a little bit tricky how we do things and it's more like niche market. So it's really hard because you, you kind of have to create the space for yourselves. We started out very like this as the, the reggae revival. Any show Kabaka Pyramid call me, Prota J call me and all the way I go over, Jamnesia all the way. But I think as um, we got more popular and more known, people have to start taking their, their individual journey a little bit more seriously because now here Chronix is all the way over in Ghana and then Protege is all the way in Australia and Jesse Ryle is way over there, over there. So it kind of, just because of the, the amplitude of it and how big it's got, it has forced us to focus on journey and we have to just always remember say, yo. So everybody's doing their own thing. Yeah, me like that. But still, don't forget where it started, you know what I mean? But it's a blessed thing and I would definitely say it's not losing steam. And when you're not there, the war is bitter. And when you look on Chronix right now, and what that little youth is doing from De La Vega, all over the world performing in arenas and theatres, in rock and roll, not me not talk about no little reggae and dance hall, me not talk about big pop venues and selling them out, I would say the actual opposite. Once I was weak, now I'm much stronger. One, you have to give things a little bit more time. You can't say there's no Gregory Isaac or no Bob Marley or no Dennis Brown because you're looking at, you're judging a, a space between of 20 years versus some youth who've been in this business for three, four years. You can't even call them, name them amongst we yet because we still have enough tribulation, enough thing for got you as artists. So it's hard to compare. I think we have to give it some time first. And I think what's important, if formula, is to go deep in the music and in the craft. And that's what these people were doing. That they were linking with top musicians, linking with some very good mixing engineers, good mastering, good writing, and just focus on that and let history tell itself. You know? We titled it Skyline Levels because that is where we grew up and that is where that is where we recorded all of the material and beyond the place and the venue where this Roots Reggae Revival started because some of the first shows where all of us were on stage was at Skyline Levels, you know what I mean? But beyond that is a concept as well. Being free from limitations, insecurities and it's really more about that and being on a Skyline level. 
and steam in Gyanja too. <laughs> I have everything to say which is in regards to my story, you know what I mean? And I only can be true to that. I don't know if it's going to be different from Dennis Brown, but I'm just staying true to me and music and how me see life. Out of nothing, opportunities creating. It makes you scream in the...